What are the benefits and drawbacks of DeFi? Welcome to DeFi 101, brought to you by Binance Australia. I'm Mark from the Australian DeFi Association, and I'm here to help Aussie Financians understand a little more about the opportunities and challenges when using decentralized finance. DeFi or decentralized finance is a revolutionary concept that is changing the way we think about finance and ownership. It's not just about yield, it's about shared ownership in up and coming tech infrastructure. But like any early stage tech company, there are risks that need to be considered. Recently, we've seen some collapses in the CeFi or centralized finance space, such as FTX, Three Arrows Capital and Voyager. These failures were because of issues with people, processes, and procedures. Issues that have similarly led to the collapse of traditional non-crypto related institutions. To resolve this, there is a need for courts, arbitration, and manual interventions. DeFi, on the other hand, Aave, Uniswap, and SushiSwap also went through issues with failed loans and trades. But rather than having to go through third parties, smart contracts automatically triggered transactions and settled payments with counterparties. Additionally, with data on-chain, forensic analysis of issues could easily be seen with DeFi in the aftermath, whereas with CeFi, data is less transparent. It's important to note that self-custody, which has already been around, saw an increase in interest after hacks and organizational collapses occurred. Self-custody is where individuals have full control over their own assets and private keys without relying on a third party to store or manage them. The collapses should not take away from what DeFi is building. This includes how future non-Web3 payments could be made using stablecoins, or how we can automate payment actions and make liquidity in supply chains more transparent. As users, it's important to be mindful when it comes to crypto projects. Don't just trust what people say, but learn more about the projects by reading the white papers or details on their website, participating in the online community, digging into the code repository if possible, and even looking at other reviews or expert opinions online. There's plenty of information available on Google and in discussion groups, and it's very important to be aware of potential scams. In conclusion, DeFi is a promising concept that has the potential to change the way we think about finance and ownership. But like any early stage tech company, there are risks that need to be considered. Be mindful of the projects you invest in, do your research, and be aware of the potential risks. Keep watching the Binance Australia video series DeFi 101 to learn more about decentralized finance. The next video will cover DeFi in the real world today.